言うことは一つだけ絶対負けねえ Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Nothing Excess with a new player analysis. We've got here Rivaul, Absolute Ace, Stefan Levin, Awoken Holy Knight, and El Cid Pierre bossing on the pitch. These are all from the Mini Dream Fest, and I've covered one of them before, but I gotta cover them again because I have made some adjustments to my limit breaks and to my opinion of the characters. So let's begin. We're gonna go pretty quick through these because、uh, they're old characters. They don't need a whole lot of work or a whole lot of talking to really get through them. So, first off, we've got Rivaul Ace,、uh, Rivaul, sorry, Absolute Ace. Um, there was once a time where getting this player in the Dreamfest role was awesome. He came out at a time when the best goalkeeper is basically the old red Gacha Mueller or, or, you know, Genzo. And not everyone really had access to SSR Black Balls yet. So people who only had S20 catches and no buffs to their goalkeeper weren't really able to deal with the constant barrage of B Skyhawk shot, just crushing the goal over and over and over again.、Uh, in 2019, it's a unit with 9k tackle, 9k intercept, 8.6k dribble, and 8.7k pass with 10.6k shot. In other words, he's a unit who more or less does everything at a decent level but isn't particularly great at anything he does. In 2019, Rivaul suffers the most from a lack of knowing where he truly fits into a team.、Uh, the other problems that I didn't really go into in the text is that he's blue and South American, which is almost good, but not really yet. And the other problem is that、uh, basically he doesn't really have the skill support that other characters do to really take advantage of his pretty decent stats. So. That does make him a little weaker. Pros 10.6k shooter with decent skill support in most areas. He's one of the best B1 2s in the game、uh, with, 207, has,、uh, with 270 momentum at max level, which is the B new golden duo with Tsubasa.、Um, access to a decent A long distance shot and kills red players and keepers at 10%. Uh, but cons, he's not great in other areas. Despite having respectable intercept stats, his only intercept is an awful B intercept.、Um, his best pass is an AEX pass that costs too much to use. And his best shot caps at 47.9k total power with only a single blow away. He's a forward and attacking midfielder. His role is as a striker. I rate him an A.、Uh, it's only, and the only reason I rate him an A is because he's still actually kind of useful if you could put him in the right archetype. And he's still a ball of stats, so he's still probably better at the few things he does, except maybe pass cut. You're not going to teach him to pass cut, despite him being a decent statistical pass cutter.、Um, for his limit break, 22 3 dribble speed, 25 25 shot power, 22 3 pass technique. His stats, he's got 932 stam I mean,、uh, yeah, stamina. Uh, as you can see, his stats are pretty okay. That does result in 10.6k shot,、uh, 8.6k dribble, 0.7k pass, 9k tackle, 9k intercept. Fortunately, he doesn't have a very good intercept, so you can't really take advantage of his decent intercept stats. For his skill build, S Golden Hawk shot is what he comes with. It's a pretty decent shot. Nothing really to write home about. It's like 450 power, one blow away. It is what it is. A Revolt Turn, a great、uh, dribble. A Skyhawk shot, a pretty decent long distance shot. A Super Speed Submarine Defense, which is a great A tackle. And B New Golden Duo, which is actually a very good B、uh, 1 2. Skyhawk shot primarily uses a full power harassment tool, particularly against punching goalkeepers. Golden Hawk shot primarily used to score, although it isn't particularly strong. It's the best he's got. You use New Golden Duo to get into an advantageous position to use Golden Hawk shot,、um, but、uh, since he has no good interception skills yet, and the B intercept is probably not worth teaching,、uh, basically don't bother with it.、Uh, B intercept.、Uh, Learning that it's not going to make you actually able to pass cut anything.、Uh, it would only be useful on like the green Revol who has auto cut and who may want to be able to use it. Moving on, we've got Stefan Levin, Awoken Holy Knight. Just, just imagine if Revol was red and couldn't play forward but was a worse shooter.、Uh, but instead, imagine if he had much better skill support overall, fits in a better archetype, which is Toughness Europe, had better balanced stats overall, a worse but incredibly inexpensive S shot that by default can be shot from far away, so it's a good clearing tool if you must. A widely solid B and A pass, although the A pass is very hard to come by, and was just better as a character overall.、Uh, Levin's for many people a poster boy for needing a limit break reset card. The old limit break for him is nowhere as good now that his shot is all but deprecated. His true worth is somewhere in the midfield, collecting the ball and delivering it elsewhere to other players instead.、Uh, he is an attacking midfielder and a defensive midfielder,、uh, and that's pretty much where you're going to play him, probably in the defensive midfield. Pros 8.3k dribble, 9.1k pass, 9k tackle, and 9.2k intercept on a character with quite good skills for all those things. Uh, that's really the redeeming quality, right? He has a bunch of good A or S skills for everything that he's decent at, which actually helps buoy the fact that he might not have awesome, insane stats. He just has good, solid ones. For his cons, his best stat shot is not what he's best at.、Um, his S skill is also a shot, which would be a lot better if he were better at shooting overall. Uh, position, attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, as I said. His roles are as an enabler, as a utility midfielder, and as a defender.、Uh, I rate him S. He's actually quite good still, even to this day. Would I go for Burke for him? Eh, maybe. His updated limit break now would be the 16 16 18 split for dribble tackle speed and 17 17 16 for pass intercept technique. You could, do, you could go all in on pass intercept technique and then 25 speed if you wanted, 
but I don't think he really needs that because he's not like an auto interceptor. You kind of want to, you want him to sort of not be that fast. Ironically, you want him to sort of hang out in the, in the defensive midfield area uh, and not overlap too much because you want him to engage on players that are trying to cross that area. Stamina at 1011. Uh, his stats, as you can see, are pretty quite pretty balanced, which means that he has 8.3k double, 9.7k shot, 9.1k pass, 9k tackle, and 9.2k intercept. Just a bunch of nines except for dribble. Although, because right angle feint is actually quite strong, uh, dribble is actually quite better than it looks. For skill build, S new 11 shot. Uh, you know, it's already there, so keep it. S Aurora curtain, A right angle feint. Now, if you do have A Aurora feint and you'd rather invest SSR balls in that, do that. But A right angle feint, the advantage is that you can get it from SR units. Uh, so I would keep that one in my opinion. A11 pass and S Aurora intercept. If you could spare the SR black balls on him, use them on a dupe of Aurora intercept instead of giving them to a shot. Um, getting the intercept up to S30 should make him unbearable to deal with in matchups. If you get A11 pass, uh, or to get it, you requires the World Cup 2018 version, so if you have some of the bad versions, you can pull it off from there. Uh, the B version will do just fine instead since it's still 260 at max, but it's not quite as good in the Dream Cup. It's better just give him the A11 pass. Finally, we've got El Cid Pierre blossoming on the pitch. He's a character with a strange combination of things he excels at, um, and because he's only really crazy good at blocking. Um, this Pierre is a bit of an anomaly. He's still the seventh best blocker in the game before passives kick in, and this Pierre is still a headache for blue teams everywhere his passive allows him to kill blue players on the pitch. Furthermore, Super Reflex Block is actually one of the better blocks in the game at 475. Uh, it lets him block at a 51.2k check if maxed out, which is quite respectable, and that's not even counting whether he's facing a blue player or not. Uh, even though it's very expensive move, 450, it's still quite good. Paired with decent interception and passing stats, he's a strong defender who fills out any green European defense that's still waiting for its goalkeeper. And strikers, really, but hey, it's green, they'll wait for a while as usual, right? So pros 10.7k blocker with a 475 momentum block and 10% against blue players. Access to a nice A pass with 300 momentum and 9k passing stat. He has great skill support, he has S tackles, S12. Uh, an A12, he's got an, uh, an, a, an S pass and an A pass, he's got an A dribble, uh, he's got a B dribble, etc. Khan's more or less primarily a defender despite the other positional considerations. He's much less reliable than he used to be uh, since he's been overshadowed by the likes of Dreamfest Gentil and DC Brolin in a way. His position is attacking midfielder, defense, defending midfielder, or defender, of which you will mostly play him defensive midfielder or defender, mostly a defender really. He is an enabler and he plays defense. That's those are his roles. I rate him an S. Go for broke for him again, maybe. Again, these are Dreamfest characters. They're almost always gonna be go for broke, maybe. Except like, you know, actually even Dreamfest Matsuyama has use cases. So it is what it is. Limit break, uh, 25, 25 block power, and then 17, 17, 16 and pass intercept and technique. His stamina, 1,028, pretty good. His block is pretty high as you can see, which results in an 8.5k dribble, 8, uh, well, 9k pass. We don't care about the shoot. Uh, 8.7k tackle, 8.8k intercept, and 10.7k block, which is the standout. For a skill build, uh, S super reflex block, A magnificent interception, uh, A slider pass, S butterfly tackle from the other green version, and A artistic dribble attack. He's sort of the weird defender that works a bit as a fullback because he can take the ball up thanks to particularly decent skills that help him do so. He can't dribble quite as well as Misugi can, but he's a better passer, and they both have access to an S pass. That said, artistic pass hard to get and feels bad sacrificing a player for it's kind of hard to max a slider pass, so it's worth getting that up to get into a matchup with a crappy forward and enable one of your stronger midfielders as a result. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for coming out here and checking out the video. Thanks again to all of my Patreon uh, supporters. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter, just go over to the link in the video description below. Patreon.com slash something excess. And thanks a lot guys. If you want to see more uh, content like this, again, remember click subscribe over there at the bottom. Uh, and click like on the video. Um, also, if you uh, tell me what you thought about the video, tell me what you think about these mini Dreamfest characters, you can go down to the comments, leave a comment. Uh, that also helps out a lot. Uh, if you want to support the channel monetarily, remember that you can do that via Patreon or you can do that directly with donations to the Streamlab Streamlabs link below. Uh, I will get a message and they'll go straight to the PayPal, which is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. Um, also remember that the Patreon, if you join the Patreon, you get certain benefits. Um, direct access to a Discord, uh, like a private Discord where you can talk uh, directly to me about the game. Um, also help with anything you want in the game. Uh, certain uh, tiers get stuff like PDFs of the videos, which... Uh, they seem to like, so if you think that that's valuable, uh, come check it out and tell me what you think. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, next up will be Dreamfest Espadas when we all see what he's about. And uh, we're all looking forward to it, too. So uh, thank you, everyone, and I hope to see you all soon.